Hey everyone, Canadian Trucker here. Today's September 30th, 2020. Just outside of Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, delivered a load of lumber. It was a real shit show this morning. Got it done, and now we sit and wait. So we got some time on our hands. I was gonna review a Japanese ration today, but I couldn't figure out how to heat it up. So we're gonna do this one instead. MRE Daft, Daft. Authentic military military food producer. Tastes like homemade. I uh, got this off of MRE Mountain a few months back. Finally getting around to uh, doing it. Salmon paella is the main. All the ingredients and stuff is in the back. Let's uh, tear into it. There's no date code on the outside that I could see. I looked all over this thing and nada. So yeah, these are from Chile. Apricots on syrup. Our main salmon paella berries jam. It's a big old pouch of it. I don't know just what that is. Name says it all. Big cracker. Isotonic pineapple drink flavor. Drink. Pineapple, isotonic drink, pineapple flavor. That's for one liter of water. We got three coffees. We've got an FRH in our accessory pack. Well, so a bitch. We got one of these Daft Sporks. Now this isn't made out of metal, so that's probably not gonna cut the side of your face open like some of the other ones do. Probably just go for the spoon. This is pretty pointless, especially if that's metal, but uh, I don't know. I usually have good luck uh, with stuff, right? So maybe we'll try it. Six packs of sugar. And they're like decent size, you know, five grams. So what's that, about 30 grams of sugar? Give or take. Two little grams of salt. Two little grams. Two little packs of salt. Hey. Look at that, one gram each. So they are, in fact, two little grams of salt. And, oh, two napkins. Kind of like those napkins you get at a bar, they'd set your beer on, the little squares. Yeah, that is it. So this was packed November 19th, 2019, and it expires November 19th, 2022 so very very fresh this is less than a year old i've had this a few months so i like that just poured water all over my pants let's get this going that's probably the closest i've ever got to a water line see that that's like oh now it's going down anyway Good things are happening here. One big ass heating pad. Some of these take off like a real champ and others don't. Oh, and it's taken off all of a sudden. That scared me a little bit. I had my fingers down there and everything. Yep. Yeah. Oh, fuck. God. Damn it. Yep. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty insane. There's a wet spot in my pants. Yeah, so that just happened. We're gonna, uh, maybe not touch that for a little while. So we got our big pouch of isotonic drink pineapple flavor. Bought this one liter of water a little while ago, not too long ago, but I've been saving it because I knew I was gonna need it. Make a little bit of room. Now Tracy, you probably want to use about one cup of water for this one. Be just about right for you. Give her a shake. Chileans be thirsty. Let's see what this berries jam is all about. I kind of don't. 
don't know, like it is very, very thin. This almost seems like it'd be a, a shoot or a syrup. It smells all right. We're gonna pour it into a little Dixie cup here. That is not jam. Just smells like strawberries. It's just a liquid. I don't know how to do this. With a few little chunks. Bet you it's just a dessert or it's jam that's gone bad. We'll find out. Probably about 1.30 in the morning we'll find out. Um, apricots on syrup. Oh yeah. I've had these before. Yeah, see, I should be using a clear cup, right? You know what, you guys want a clear cup? We'll go get you a clear cup. My viewers will not stand for imperfection. Clear cup, let's do this. There they are. Now, I need to teach you guys all a very, very valuable lesson, so please pay attention. This can affect your life, it can change your life in a bad way. Apricots on syrup. They also make one plums on syrup. I know what you're thinking, well, hey, plums are pretty good. I'm gonna get me some plums. Plums turn to prunes when they are in a retort pouch. You crack that puppy open, it is no longer a plum. It resembles nothing of a plum. It is straight up black ass prunes. Don't make that mistake not good at all apricots however very good you know what i'm gonna pour this jam into this cup just so you can see it see just a little shot glass full of berries i don't know tear open our big crackers nice yes yeah. there's a close-up I don't know what they smell like. I'm going to try this right away because it smells really good. Almost no flavor. Like, you can't compare it to any other kind of cookie. Mildly sweet. I mean, they're good. Just nothing, uh, nothing really jumping out at me. And as a person who doesn't like taste and flavor and all that fun stuff, I actually really like these. These, I'm gonna get some more because I've seen somewhere these are for sale. Gonna go ahead and wash that down with some pineapple drink mix. Glad they give you a whole liter of it. Because <clears throat> truckers thirsty. And all the excitement of making this video. Almost lost my spoon. In my mind, this is not a spork. Everybody knows a spork has a fork and a spoon. Same end. Just because it's a fork and a spoon on the same <clears throat> on the same piece of plastic and or steel, or whatever, that still isn't a fork. Yeah, these, that's not too bad. Like, who designed these? You take a bite and you're gonna, you know, cut that part of your mouth? Take no chances. I'm gonna try our apricots on syrup. Little round guys. Really don't know what an apricot would look like. I mean, like, fresh. So they look like canned or pouched, whatever you want to call it. So these are a little different. You know, I'm used to eating peaches, apples, pears. You know, like the stuff comes in IMPs. This has a little bit of a punch to it to get through the outer skin. And then it's just complete mush. I don't know how else to describe it. The flavor is fine. Not overly sweet, a little bit tart, I think would be the word. Yeah, no bad. 
gonna try our uh, fruit jam as it says dripped and shot up my nose it's like blueberries I'm gonna read the ingredients because that kind of Kind of reminds me of blueberries. Water, sugar, starch, maltodextrin, guar gum, citric acid. Flavor identical to the natural strawberry. Sucralose. Fruit. There we go, we got to the fruit. Strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, blueberries. Yeah, and I mean a few other things too. That is all stuff that I like. But it ain't jam. That FRH and or heater bag, whatever the Chileans like to call it, kicked ass. This is piping freaking hot. Never eaten paella before. I don't even know if that's how it's pronounced, paella. Um, water, rice, salmon, shrimp, onion, peas, paprika, and like three other things. There's actually not a lot of ingredients in that. And people tell me that's good. There, Notch. Almost every time. Almost. Let's fix that. This is incredibly hot. Oh, it smells really good and a little bit bad at the same time. You ever open a can of uh, Kippered snacks or whatever that uh, that fish in there? What's it? Anyway, we're gonna. Oh, comes out in a patty. Okay. Yellow, very yellow. Just gonna bust this up a little bit. We got peas, we got salmon. We got some shrimp. Mrs. Trucker, you can't eat this. Mrs. Trucker's allergic to shrimp. She also doesn't eat meat. And I doubt, highly doubt she'd get too excited over that yellow mush. Yeah. Smells like smoked fish, that's what it is. Smoked fish. Bet you it's smoked fish in here, which I haven't eaten since I was about five years old because it made me real sick one time. Right off the bat, let's go for a bite of our salmon. That tastes fine. Just a very Definitely smoked. I'll almost put money that it's smoked. Actually, I probably would make a bet like that with no idea. Tastes to me like it's been smoked. Not overly strong. You have to really worry with uh, with fish when it's you know pouched and canned. It gets kind of strong and unedible. This ain't bad. Shit. Shoot. I guess this is what paella means, right? Has no flavor. I like it. Wheel of shrimp. Straight up honest. I'm grinding on this. There's sand in there or something. Very, very gritty. Just the shrimp. The rest of it's fine, but the shrimp is very... A little bit of crunch to it. So I don't know what that is. I think we're going to jazz it up with one of these little grams of salt. I tried using the whole thing. That was getting to be a little bit much. One gram of salt's quite a bit. We're going to try shrimp, salmon, peas, peppers, rice. 
big old bite of everything. I definitely put too much salt on, but uh, it, it, it's better with salt, for sure. Okay, you know what doesn't work? And I'm no food expert. But this does not go with that mane. Not at all. It's like, uh, kind of hit me the way, you know, if you just br brush your teeth and then you have a drink of orange juice and you get that kind of, yeah. So maybe drink this first or well after, but uh, yeah, it doesn't go with the mane at all. That It's really, really not good yeah in the end pineapple drink very good i'm glad to give you a full liter that's actually awesome if all you have is small bottles you might pull your hair out trying to you know divide that in two but if you got the big one liter bottle or 34 ounce that's the bottle to use apricots were good that jam fruit jam is good i'd like to see what that actually is supposed to be it's definitely not a jam in no way is this a jam and it's not off like it it's fine it come in that big pouch so there's probably something you're supposed to do with this that's what i'm doing with them the salmon paella really good Add a pinch of salt, don't over salt it. And these cookies, what are they? Anybody know what these are? And they're not even cookies. I've been calling them cookies this whole time. It's a cracker. In my mind, this is a cookie because it tastes more like a cookie than a cracker. Maybe the Chileans are mixed up the way the British are and they'd probably call this a biscuit out there. But yeah, everything's awesome. Thanks for coming, everybody. We'll see you next time.